Chapter 7, the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Who was the sample mean? Um, in chapter 3, please go back to chapter 3. We discussed as many statistics for numerical variable. We described distribution again in chapter 3, numerically, using statistics. Sample mean was one of the statistics for the center. The measure of the center, measure of the variation. Do you remember that? Right? Yeah. So the mean was the very first one. You know, the average is the most common statistic in statistics. Measure of the center. Yeah, that is a sample mean. That is an average. But now, the title is Distribution. When we got the distribution, for example, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution in chapter 5, normal distribution in chapter 6, what was the topic in chapter 5 and chapter 6? Random variable. Chapter 5 was the discrete random variable. Binomial distribution, Poisson distribution. Chapter 6, no more distribution. For whom? Continuous random variable. We had the distribution in chapter 5, chapter 6 for the random variable. It had two types, discrete, chapter 5, Continuous, chapter 6. Now, in chapter 7, we are going to dis discuss the distribution of what? Sample mean. Just a second, what does it mean? We knew the sample mean was a statistic. But now, we are going to discuss the distribution of the statistic. But we had, we discussed the distributions for the random variable. Now I can say sample mean is not only statistics, but also it is the random variable. Does it make sense? Sample mean is a statistic and random variable. What was a random variable? Random variable was a variable by chance with a probability. Good, right? It's not only sample mean, any kind of statistics. We had mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, range, quartiles, any statistic. They are all random variables. So, so I can suggest to you what distribution for this one, what distribution for the variance, what distribution for the median. But in chapter 7, we are going to discuss a distribution for a statistic named sample mean. Good, right? So please look at the sample, um, um, example 7.2. Um, okay, let me see. Oh, I hate basketball. But, yeah, here's a five players, and here's a height in inches. 76, um, 78, 79, 81, 86, in order. Yeah, five players. Good. Let me take two players out of five. How many combinations? Combinations. We used the C function for the binomial before. Why don't you try five C2, please? Yeah, using your calculator. Take the five C2. How many? Second? 10? Let me count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten combinations. Does it make sense, right? So uh, we are going to have uh, ten combinations when we choose two players out of five. So here is uh, A and B, A and C, A, D, A, E, B, C, B, D, B, E, C, D, C, E, D, E. You know, the combination means A, B is the same as the B, A. So we just, we do not double count. It's just only, only one outcome, A, B. It will be same as the B, A. Good, right? So uh, when I take, when we select A and B, their height were 76 and 78. How much would be the average? It's between 76 and 78. Simply I can take the 77. Is it correct? Take the sum, divide by 2, 77. Because the mean wall is the center. The measure of the center is between 76 and 78. There is the 77. Good? The next one is A and C. They are 76 for A. 79 for B. Please take the average. 77.5? Don't trust me. Please try. 77.5? Am I, am I correct? Yes or no? 77.5? Thank you. Please keep going. Please keep going. The next one is the 76 D 81, 76 86, B 78, 79, 78, 81, 79, uh, well, sorry, 78, 86, and the next one, 79, 80, uh oh, sorry, 81, 79, 86, and the last one will be D and E, 81, and 86. So each time we take two players, that means the sample size is equal to. And please take the average for each. Uh, let me take the, the easier one. It will be 78.5. Um, 80. Uh, uh, I don't know. Can you tell me what is the average for A and D? The third one, A and D, please. 78.5. How about the next one for A and E? 81. 81 even. How about the D, um, B and D? 79.5. 79.5. Uh, B and E? 82. Even. And C, E? 82.5. 82.5. And D, E? 83.5. 83 you got it? It's good, right? What was the title? We are going to discuss distribution. You know, the title was specifically the sampling distribution. It is a distribution. Because sample mean is a statistic from the sample, right? So because of that, uh, specifically, yeah, we call this one is the sampling distribution for the sample mean, right? But it's nothing. Yeah, it is a distribution. Okay, so let me make the distribution. We took 10 sample means for each. We had 10 combinations. We took 10 sample means for each. 
So now we have to make the distribution, right? So let me make a dot plot. Let me make the dot plot, okay? So the very first one, the very first one was the um, 77. 77.5. 78.5. Okay, just a second. Let me make bigger. 77, 77.5, 78 78.5, 81, 78.5 again, 79.5. 82, 80, 82.5, 83.5. Can you make a dot plot? Can you see the distribution? Let me ask you. What is the range of the sample mean? You know, in chapter 3, we had three statistics for the variation, the variance, standard deviation, and the range. You know, it takes time to get the standard deviation, right? We have to apply the six steps. But range was a simple. Why don't you give me the range of whom? The range of the 10 sample means. You know, actually the range was, we have to take the minimum, and the maximum, the minimum was 77, and the maximum was the 83.5. Then now, um, we can take the difference. So, um, how much? How much will be the range? 6.5. 6.5. Thank you. It is a simple, but it is one of the statistics for the variation. Why not? Yeah, 6.5. It's good, right? So uh, we made the distribution of the sample mean. How many sample means? We took 10 sample means. How about the next example? Now, let me take the four samples, four players, out of five, out of five, right? So now, here is the A, B, C, D, A, B, C, and E. Just a second. Can you try five, C, four, please? How many combinations? We can expect, I expect five combinations from five C4. Is it five? Why not? Yes, five combinations. And here is a five, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, five combinations and there are four heights, four their heights. What are you doing? Take the average. <laughs> Please take the average. Please take the average, um, take the sum, 76, 78, 79, and 81. Now, divided by 4. Thank you. Yeah. What does the sample mean, the first one? 78.45. 78.45? Just 5. Thank you. How about the second one? I think the second one is a little bit taller because the last one is not 81, but 86. So it, it, the average will be a little bit taller. 79.75. Okay, the next one. Just to keep going. Anybody else? Third one. 80.25. 80.25. Next. Say again. 80.5. 80.5. The last one. 81. Even. Thank
Thank you. Now we have only five sample means because we selected more and we take five sample means. Additionally, additionally, let me make the box plot on the previous box plot. Okay, so just a second. Okay, it's on here. Okay, I, I need the uh, sample means. Um, let me choose the, the red one. Okay, the first one was a 78.5. 78.5. Right? And second one was a 79.75. It's almost 80. Yeah, I have a small dot plot. It's, let me make bigger is later, but you can make the dot plot is clearly. And the third one was the, a little bit bigger than 80, 80.25. Eighty point five. Uh uh, wrong. But be careful. Yeah, that that should be at eight point five, and the biggest one was the eighty one. Only five sample means. Let me make them bigger. How much was the range among the blue, the blues? 10 sample means, which was 6.5. Do you remember that? Right? But now, we had only five because we selected more. Who was the smallest mean? Yeah, I can see the means, but please give me the smallest mean now among the five sample means. Who was the smallest one? 78.5. And who was the biggest one? 81 even. Then how much would be the range? again 2.5 2.5 getting smaller it's getting smaller right um, simply I chose the range a statistic named the range for the variation just a second in chapter 3 we discussed it's not only the measure of the variation but also the measure of the center right so why don't you try why don't you try to take the mean of the means? You know, actually, um, now we are discussing the uh, distribution of the sample means, right? So we took the range for the variation. Let me take the center. Mean of the means. Mean of the means. Just a second. Please take the sum of 10 means and divide it by 10, please. Mean of the means. I got you got 80? Even? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So... Um, the 6.5 was the range for the variation. And now we take the, um, the mean of the means is a 80. Center. For the center. eighty. It makes sense? Oh, just a second. We we had another example. Yeah, this one. 
um, range was 2.5. It's good, right? 2.5. We take the range. Was the 2.5. Why don't you take the mean of the means, please? Maybe. Just a second. What? A. A D again? Interesting. We had smaller range, but the same mean of the means. Just a second. Let me go to very first. You know, the very beginning, we had five players, right? Can you take the average of this one? You know, it is not the average of the means, right? I just take the average, just to take the mean, please. It is not, please remember, be careful. Now we have to take just the mean. It's not mean of the means, right? Just to take the mean of the five heights. Right? Take the mean. Take the sum. Divide by 5 now. How much? 80? Magic. It is the magic. <laughs> just a second, just a second. It is not the magic. Let me show you something. Look at this one. Very first one. We had five players. Who was the shortest one? What was the shortest height? I remember it was 76. Tallest player was 81. In the first example, we took two players each. Two players each time. And we, we take the dot plot. It looks like this. What was the smallest mean? How much was the smallest mean out of 10 sample means? 70, 77? The smallest mean? And who was the biggest one? 83.5. You know the variation? Distribution is a shrink. It's good, right? Second example. Second example, we selected four players out of five. So we made five combinations, five sample means. Who was the smallest sample mean? I, I need the, I need the, <laughs> what? Yeah, that is a 78.5. Let me cheat. The biggest one is the 81. What happened? Shrink. It's a shrink again. You know, it's actually, here's, a, here's another example. Here's another example, n equal three. You try tonight, n equal three. You have to take these um, sample means. How many? Just a second, try. Five C3, please. Five C3. How many combinations? 10? There's a 10, 10 dots, 10 sample means. Please look at the range, shrink. Shrink, shrink. Finally, it doesn't make sense. We take all players, five. How much was the mean? 80. Only one. Oh, try again, five C5. 
Among the five, select all of them. How many combinations? It's only one combination, right? It's only one case, right? Average will be 80. When we, the first example, we took the mean of the means. How much was it there? 80. Second case, we selected four out of five and we took the mean of the means. How much was that? 80. 80. Absolutely, it was 80. 80, 80, 80. What I want to say, mean of the means does not depend on the sample size. Even I had 100 players. Out of 100, we select only two, only three, only four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't matter. The mean of the means does not change. It will be same as just average, just average of the heights. But the standard deviation, but the variation is getting shrink, 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 shrink for whom for the sample mean okay um, it is a new topic it is a new topic chapter seven now we focus on the sample mean for everything is a sample mean for the sample mean be careful it is very confused you know um this one this one was just average. The average of the five heights, right? But, but this AD, that AD, AD, right? It's the same thing, AD, but um, they are the mean of the means, right? Yeah, so be careful. So even though they are all same as AD, but, but this one is just average but they are the mean of the means, the average of the means, right? Yeah.